worth it. The Travel Show on BBC News. Hello, I'm Christian Fraser, and this is The Context. I am ending this long-running saga. I am cancelling the rest of the HS2 project. I'm very disappointed that he uh, announced that today. You should stand up, particularly when something is really important to your region. I don't see how you can take a plan that goes beyond the life of any individual government and basically tear it up at a party conference. Rishi Sunak gambles on high-risk electoral strategy. Three major policy announcements this afternoon. He's ditching the Manchester leg of HS2. He's scrapping A-levels for a new broader qualification. And there will be a phase ban on smoking. Does that make Rishi Sunak the change candidate? Or is it a last desperate attempt to hang on to power? On our panel this evening, Justine Greening, who took the decision as Transport Secretary in 2012 to go ahead with the project all the way to the north, despite the concerns over its costs. Also with us, the Democratic strategist Amanda Renteria, who will also be scratching her head at what is going on in the US Congress. No speaker, no functioning government. So what happens if there's a crisis? And we will talk about the new Beckham documentary, which is pretty spicy, by all accounts. <laughs> Good evening. In his first speech to the party conference as Tory leader, Rishi Sunak said he is only too happy to divide opinion and seemingly his own party if that's what it takes to put Britain on a long-term path to success. But his first big change is to scrap the northern leg of HS2, the high-speed railway that was supposed to link London with Manchester. A decision his predecessor, David Cameron, said this afternoon the country would come to regret for years to come. Perhaps after promising the North a programme for levelling up, it's a gamble the Conservatives may come to regret much sooner. Mr Sunak has also promised a new qualification for further education. That will uh, combine A-levels and the more vocational T-levels into one single qualification, which in future will be known as the Advanced British Standard. And to enhance the future health of the nation, he's proposing a progressive ban on smoking, which would mean that today's 14-year-olds will never legally be eligible to buy a packet of cigarettes. We will get the panel's view on all those proposals tonight, but before we do, let me play for you the first bit of that speech that focused on the much-trailed decision on HS2. I am ending this long-running saga. I am cancelling the rest of the HS2 project. And in its place... 